So you brought us in. We talked about uh, Cyber Secure San Antonio. Tell mm -hmm. us what's happened in that project. Well, that project is still ongoing, and uh, anybody that wants to take a look at what they're doing, go down there. And uh, we, it's a partnership between Ron Nuremberg and the city, uh, as well as CPS Energy, as well as the Texas National Guard and all the military organizations down in San Antonio. And what they are doing is they're proving out that with affordable technologies, you can have a power grid uh, that is resilient to attack, both physically and with any kind of electromagnetic weapon and or solar flare that might come across the well, that's uh, grid. amazing. We've talked with uh, Tommy Waller and Frank Gaffney and we did a program with Major Stuckenberg mm -hmm. uh, who was working with you at the time and you actually appeared on that talking about the threats to the, to the electromagnetic spectrum and the threats of EMP but now there is an industry-based cooperative solution working with government and the military. That's right. And what we were trying to do is uh, get across this valley of death, meaning that there's a lot of things in the laboratories that are really good ideas, but uh, the bureaucracy doesn't necessarily ask for them and draw them across. They just keep doing business the way they've always done it. But what has changed in our world is that when all these military bases were built and this power grid was built, it was built in an age where nobody thought in a million years that somebody would come into our continental United States and attack us from within. But in this information age we're in, we know that our open society just opens us up to vulnerabilities because just about anybody can find their way into our country and, and do things if they had malicious intent. So you're only uh, as strong as your weakest link. Yeah. And every military base is dependent on energy from the local grid off the base. Uh, they're dependent on water delivered from off the base. And they're uh, dependent on information delivered from off the base. And none of those were designed to be resilient if somebody were deliberately trying to shut you down. So as the man in charge of all education and training for the Air Force, I knew that if we got into some kind of conflict with another great society where they were starting to attack us from within, that you need to maintain the training and the educational base in order to maintain the defense of our country. Right. And I needed some resilience so that I could rely on my energy, I could rely on fresh water, and I could rely on trusted information and I couldn't do it alone because I'm dependent totally on the downtown delivery systems. So that's why we did this and it is showing such incredible promise. In fact, I will predict that they will give a template for the rest of the country to, to uh, be able to repeat, that you can affordably build resilient energy, water, and information uh, in a partnership with your military so that the citizens benefit from it, our whole society benefits from it, and our military benefits from it.